across the microphone is seated certainly one of the deft comics of the year. Uh, what? And perhaps one of the most <laughs> irreverent of comics. <laughs> Lenny Bruce. Deft. Oh. deft. Oh, I see. Who is now appearing at the Cloisters. And I think uh, the comedy of Lenny Bruce has to be seen as well as heard. In hearing him, you dig what the man is saying, and he says a great deal, too. Sometimes a comic can say more through his sharp, barbed wit, can say more than uh, a platform speaker who says little, really. But Lenny Bruce, uh, your humor has been described as that of uh, sick humor. How do you feel about that particular uh, adjective, that abolition? My feel that uh, sick is... Uh... It's just a nebulous word. It's just a sort of a hack writer kind of thing. They like comparison. The same as you'll ask a guy, what's the beat generation? What's beat next? It's just a, a yeah. word they found, and it's sort of a commercial now to hang on to it. In a sense, your humor, though described as sick, which you call a cliché term probably is, is really affirmative, because what you're kidding is the phoniness of the day. Yes. You're not yes. a negative guy, really, but you, the fact is you have a viewpoint that's positive. Yeah, and I just feel sick is just a commercial word. No, no. There was something you were about to say earlier about the low rating of audiences, which may lead into the uh, a new <clears> field, <throat> the field of television itself, the, the well, biggest field of mass communications. The, the, what I feel, there's a big problem in the industry today, and people are always screaming about, there's bad television, bad this or that. And I don't think anyone has ever approached this facet. Secretaries are very bad. This is sort of weird. Secretaries. Secretaries, outer office people. Outer office people who become monsters. Now, you'll get a guy, a writer, right? A, we'll say a song probably. You get a very sensitive guy, and he's written a tune. Now, he goes, and he's got this tune. Uh, who do you want to see? Well, I'd like to see Mr. Anderson. Do you have an appointment? No, but I'd like to see him. I've got a tune here. Well, you'll have to make blah, blah, blah. Now, the guy, <clears throat> usually any artist who is good usually is very sensitive, a pretty insecure guy, very sensitive, and that's why he'll write something pretty nice and pretty sensitive. Now, this kind of guy can't stand that kind of brash rejection. So consequently, when he goes, blah, 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 and you'll have to wait, and the guy just feels so brought down, you know, and he'll go back. He can't take the rejection. He'll either get home and get juice, he'll get high, he'll get out of his nut, you know, and I'm thinking, uh, that's, I'm not going to make it or go back. Meanwhile, the brash guy with a lot of moxie has got the stick to it of his um, um, um. He'll stay there, you know, he'll sit in the outer office, he'll make it, he'll make it, and he'll, he's the guy who'll finally the material will get through, and it'll be probably second rate. In the meanwhile, the, the guy who has some sensitivity, that stuff will never be seen. And if they knew, big agencies, how many secretaries, and even on phones, how the little sensitivity they have. They'll just keep you hanging, you know. Nothing can bring a guy down more than there's a call some cat and he's in conference, you know. Well, this is an explanation we haven't heard till now. The yeah, fact that you know, that really brings you... You yourself probably have waited some time. Instead of like the secretary telling, well, you know, sit here and maybe talk to you a little or make you feel a little relaxed. It's so, so cold. It's such a militant attitude, you know. That's well, really the fact that you, obviously a sensitive comedian, uh, are scoring, I think, is a, is a happy sign. Is, is all in favor of what may be taking well, place. Well, I've never scored with any of the secretaries, if that's what you're inferring. <laughs> 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 if we may just plug you, more than a plug, I think we should suggest very strongly to the audience the, the album that you've put out for fantasy. It's called The Sick Humor of Lenny Bruce, and there are about, I think you do about eight, uh, six, no, six or seven different... Uh, Routines. Satires. Satires. There's some that could never be played on the air. And yet, anywhere. excellent for the audience to hear at home and at parties. LP, Fantasy LP 7001. Uh, mm -hmm. That's, uh, is that this album? Yeah, the one? Sick Humor. Yeah. Oh, this is 7003. Bruce. You have another album, 7001. Yes. Interviews of Our Times. Interviews of Our Times. Yes. But the and Sick Humor of Lenny Bruce album, I'm the most proud. You have another week, so I'd suggest. A week uh, and a half. A week and a half to head down to head up, perhaps, with, by the way, with to the Cloisters. Pat I mean, Moran. Let me just name the place okay, itself. Good. The Cloisters at the Maryland Hotel, in the Maryland Hotel on Rush and... Uh,